Welcome back to Superfishing Mountain. Today I want to talk a little bit about chipping and pitching. And the difference in the technique in a chip or a pitch shot versus a full golf swing. A couple weeks back I got I had the opportunity to play in the PGA Club Professional Championship. And one of the things that gave me some trouble is hitting off of the tight Bermuda grass with grain into me. And part of the problem was I wasn't utilizing the bounce very well. And what I saw when I came home, I, I videoed a few of my chip shots, and I saw that I was setting up to the ball in this manner, which was introducing the leading edge into the ground and making it difficult. Now, when you're hitting off that tight Bermuda, there are really two options you have. Option number one would be to play the ball back and catch the ball clean, but that really gives you only one shot. A low, kind of a low chip. But if you need a higher lofted, softer landing type shot, that one's not going to work very good. And if you try to move the ball forward and hit it high with your hands forward, you're still going to drive the leading edge into the ground and you'll probably get to hit the shot again, which I experienced. So what I found is that if I want to hit that nice high soft shot, the best bet would be move the ball quite forward and have the hands kind of back and then as you swing down you need to allow the club head to catch back up so it realigns how it began so that the bounce gets on the ground. My tendency is to, to put too much speed to it, drive the handle forward which is more like a full shot but on these little touch shots that's not what we're looking for. The first thing we need to understand is, is how we need to use our golf club to give us give ourselves maximum forgiveness and so the golf club is designed with bounce we want to utilize it so we don't want the leading edge to dig into the ground so in order to, to prevent the leading edge from digging into the ground we need to make sure that we don't have the handle leaning too far forward okay so as we address the golf ball we want to make sure that the handle is more or less straight up and down you know, it might be leaning slightly, but more or less straight up and down. And then we want to, to set our bodies to that handle. Now, I like to make sure that my, my weight is to the left. And the club is more or less pointing straight up and down. So you can see my, my weight is left. The handle's not leaning too far forward. So now let's talk, talk about the technique for hitting a chip now that we know how to set up. So we get set up. Our weight's forward, the handle's not too forward. Now we want to feel like, as we swing this club back and down, that we're not producing much lag. We don't want to drive the handle forward because that puts the leading edge back onto the ground, and that's what we're trying to avoid. So we want to make sure that we allow the club to return to how it started. And in order to do that, it's going to feel like the club head is almost swinging before everything else. So you're going to swing it back and you're going to feel like the club head is really catching up. So I'll hit a couple standard little low chip shots. So I'm going to chip, hit a chip and run over to that far hole over there. Hit another one. Make it? I did. <laughs> Took me a couple tries. Okay, so you can see when I'm hitting a chip and run, my ball position is center, maybe slightly back of center. But I'm not really leaning that shaft forward. That is a way to do it. I find that it is a little less forgiving. And I'm looking for the maximum forgiveness here. So I don't want to have as much lean in the handle. Now let's talk about how we hit the higher, softer shot. So to go to the same target, I could hit a nice high one, land it a lot closer, and get it to check up. Now the way I would go about that is I'm going to use a little more lofted club. That was my 52 degree wedge. Now here I've got my 60 degree wedge. I'm going to open that up a little bit, and now the ball position is going to be a little more forward. But I still want this handle standing straight up and down. Don't want to have it leaning maybe even 
almost feeling like it's slightly leaning backward, but it's not. It's just straight up and down. And I want to feel like I'm going to return it to that. So I'm going to allow the club head to really swing. I'm not using my body to really accelerate it because the last thing I want to do is create that lag because we're not looking for speed here, we're looking for touch. That was a good one. The biggest differences between our full shots where we're using the ground, which creates some angles here and, and hold them for us. We don't want that in, in the pit shot. Now what we're looking to do is take away all those angles and allow the weight of the golf club to control the speed. We're not using leverage for speed. And if we can do that, we can get nice soft trajectories. And I generally use this type of technique where the, the weight of the golf club is doing most of the work and I'm letting the club feel like it gets there first on shots inside of 40 yards. Once I get outside of that, I need a little more speed, so then I start to accelerate. I made another one. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comment box and subscribe to my channel.